So what you're seeing right now is the first steps that we took to get the whole painting process started for the bus. It was really, really cold at the time that we wanted to do paint, so we really didn't have an option to clean the bus or do any prep work outside. And so basically we had to go to town on the entire bus, sanding, grinding, fixing rust, and getting it all prepared for basically uh, cleaning and painting. So what you see me doing now is I've got my pneumatic sander and I'm just going back and forth across the top of the roof and uh, roughing everything up, getting it all, getting all the junk and stuff off the top. We had several steps to getting everything ready for paint. The first step to sand and clean. The second step was to then wash the bus in Simple Green, which is a uh, cleaner, eco-friendly. After the cleaner, we then used uh, mineral spirits to wipe everything down, let it evaporate, went over top again with some uh, rags and terry cloth to finish it all up and then when those steps were all taken care of we were ready to paint. So you'll see that I'm just going over the flat portions of the roof because later on we, uh, we move on to the next tool that we have which is actually a wire brush that I go to town over top of the rivets as well as the uh, all the nooks and crannies that you can't reach with the sander. This uh, was quite a long process and probably my least favorite to do, but for not having a pressure washer or the ability to go to a car wash, this was the best option we had uh, during the cold months. So what we have over here is Isaac. <laughs> He's uh, taking off the mirrors right now and the assemblies that go with them. He's going to clean them up and spray paint them black using some automotive automotive enamel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, flat black enamel. All right. And uh, once that's all done, we'll put those back when the whole thing's finished. This stuff up here is brittle. I think it's coming in the sun a lot more than those stuff is. Oh. Well, thank you for the recording. I didn't realize that. Just cut it out. Overlay voiceover over the random footage and you'll be good. So, what you see here is some reflective strips that are stuck on to all the emergency exits as well as the sign for school bus on the front and on the back. The best way to get this off is a razor blade or a scraper and a heat gun. Uh, just go to town. It's going to be flaky. It's going to be crappy because, you know, the sun wearing down on it. But that's how you do it. It's uh, crazy how, looking back on it now, all of the prep work that we ended up doing with the sanding and cleaning and all that. But uh, it was totally worth it once we got the paint on. It stuck very well, and uh, it was just an awesome outcome. So the videos we've been posting under the channel are fairly old, and uh, our trip to Colorado is coming up very shortly. So I'm gonna try really hard to get all these videos caught up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll get some footage intermingled with our trip as well. Thanks for watching.